Hey YouTube, um, so I'm reshooting this video, it's based off of an older video that I uh, had posted in the past, but since I've tweaked um, this method a little bit, I wanted to, uh, you know, reshoot it and uh, hopefully get everyone some better results when it comes to managing spectrum on your LEDs. Um, one of my big motivations for reshooting this video is I'm going to get my hands on a PAR meter this weekend and we are going to basically see how we can how this method helped uh, achieve a more accurate par or a more desirable par um, now par and spectrum are not always related you can have different spectrums and achieve the same par um, and vice versa so but it is good to consider both parts um, when you're setting your light and I think now we'll have a good visual on what our spectrum is using this method and then come this weekend we can test my par and see where that's at and we'll shoot another another video on that and then hopefully there'll be like a part three where we tie the two together and see if we can't really uh, you know get this lighting to the most optimal settings um, for my reef and yeah, so basically this method here, um, I highly recommend using Excel when you're programming your LEDs for your reef. It's a great way to visualize uh, the proportions of each color that's being output by your fixture. Um, so I've created this table that's for my LEDs, which is the reef greeter photons, uh, the V2s uh, v or V2 pluses that are, came out a little while ago. And so what we have here is the six channels on there's six channels on these fixtures and each one is dedicated to their own color and um, I created this Excel file because uh, Not only are there different colors, but there's different powers of diodes for each color So the royal blue diodes are all five watt whereas the deep red diodes are three watts um, and then there's different quantities of each of them ranging anywhere from 12 in the, of the royal blue all the way down to 2 in the deep red. And that results in dramatic differences in that, you know, the power that's actually being output by these different colored diodes. So, you know, the max power that the deep red channel can put out is 6 watts, whereas the royal blue channel, the max power it can be put out is 60 watts. So... I mean, if you're running both channels at 100%, I mean, you're you're not getting equal. You're not getting a 50% red, 50% blue. You're you're getting a 10% red and a 90% um, blue. Um, so um, I'm gonna post a link to this Excel file. It'll be like a Google Doc that you can download and um, work with if you need to. Um, and what you do when you're doing this is you uh, edit the uh, the percentages that you're going to run each channel at each time step and What will happen is down here in this table below There's a formula that will automatically uh, calculate the number of watts that each channel is putting out and Then you can look at this graph um, The reason this is important is because if you look at the graph up top the it, you know, you'll see some very awkward peaks in your lighting like there is a uh, proportion of red here that is far too large if you're trying to compare it to a more traditional spectrograph same with greens whites are probably a little low cool blues are way too high and royal blues really should always be your highest peak um, so that's why you need to break away from thinking about the percentage that you're running each channel at and start thinking about the actual wattage that each channel is putting out um, at each time step so this graph here, um, if you think about it in the correct way, um, each time step, you can look at the proportion of each color of light that is being produced, and we're getting, you know, about 17 watts of um, blue lights at this time step, and we're getting about 7.2 watts of cool blue, um, slightly less uh, violets, and very little red and green. And when you take each time step and you try to relate it to those traditional spectrographs, you're going to see a very similar percentage of the, the light being, you know, it's going to match up. You're going to have moderate peaks of red, high peaks of violet, cool blue. The highest peak is always around the royal blue. Um, you can look up the actual wavelength of these diodes if you wish to. 
Um, and then white light, I use it mostly to manage a realistic look to my reef. Um, I do like the, I guess a lot of people refer to it as the 20K look, um, which is typical to what you would see in a shallow, uh, a shallow reef at midday. And I try to maintain that as much as I can throughout the day, but obviously early morning and later in the evening become, uh, they become more blue. Um, so get a little more popped with the corals, you know, later in the evening and everything. And I do run a dark period for several hours at night. And I think that's important. A lot of people don't let their tanks run a dark period. And I mean, I've... I've had great success going full darkness for several hours at night. Um, you know, very slow ramp up in the early morning hours and, and the later, you know, around midnight um, is when they just kind of plateau a little bit and slowly ramp down. But, um, but yeah, so again, I'm going to post a link to this uh, in Google Docs that you'll be able to download it and use it for yourself. And, uh, Make sure you check out this video that we're going to get posted here, hopefully in the next week, where I get to uh, use a power meter on my reef, um, which will be running on these settings. And we can uh, hopefully draw some conclusions from pairing the two of them up and maybe even come up with a few questions to answer moving down the road. Um, so if you haven't yet, uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, this is our new channel so maybe you recognize this video i did uh, move everything over to a new channel recently um and that was uh, basically i wanted to clear the clutter i wanted a channel dedicated to just my reefing videos to better suit the audience so make sure you hit subscribe and uh, check out that next video with the power meter thanks for watching